Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a love pick a card reading. So in today's reading, we're just going to do an update on how do they feel. So this is a reading for if you have a specific person in mind, a love interest, a crush, somebody that you want to check into. Um, if you do not have anybody on your mind, then this reading may not resonate with you, but check out my other pick a card readings because I have a lot of readings for those of you guys who are single and looking. So in today's reading, I am introducing my new deck. This is called the Real Real, and it is basically like the real tea, like the things that people think in their mind, but they might not like say out loud. We're going to get you guys all of the details. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this deck. And all you have to do to receive this reading is simply choose a crystal. We've got a couple here today. You can choose number one, the rose quartz. Number two, the adventuring crystal. Or number three, the amethyst crystal. So choose the crystal that you feel drawn to the most and once you have chosen you can head down below to the comments or to the description where the timestamps are posted so you can just click on that timestamp and instantly be fast forwarded to your part in the reading and I will see you soon. For those of you who choose number one, let's go ahead and get your message. So we're checking in on your special person to see how are they feeling? What are they thinking about when it comes to you? What are their messages for you? Messages from their higher self. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. We got like three separate messages here and then all of these came out together. So I think it's going to be interesting to unveil these messages and see how that works out. So. First message we're getting, this one just warms my heart. It says, thank you for helping me awaken to my true self. So yes, I'm definitely getting a sense that this person is, the first feeling I'm getting is almost this energy of guilt. Uh, this person is thankful, obviously. They're so thankful that you've helped awaken them to them to their true selves. But I, I sense this energy of guilt around them. I want to see what the rest of the cards have to say about that. Ooh, I didn't understand what a soul connection was until you. You've helped me to connect more with my higher self. So, wow, we're getting two cards that have to do with like spiritual awakening. And that's very possible. Sometimes you meet people on your path who have such a huge impact on you. They help you see the world in a different way. They open your eyes to different aspects of what it means to be a human or a soul. <laughs> Uh, living in this experience and so the message that I'm getting with this one so far is this energy of longing this person has for you maybe a little bit of guilt um, but of course they're feeling like they were really awestruck by you they were very overwhelmed by this connection like you woke them up and it might not have even been that you had a very spiritual like experience with this person maybe it was just your energy of joy the laughter like the way that you look at the world the good energies like the boost of positivity that you brought to this person yeah it's interesting the next message is i'm ready to make us official wow yeah, so they're thinking, I want to make this connection official. I want to step forward. Um, I want us to really take the next step in this relationship. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm thinking about your body. Okay. So this person is definitely into you. They're definitely feeling a romantic connection with you. They feel like they want to make this official. They're feeling like this person has awakened me. Um, and I'm wondering what that energy of guilt was that I was feeling. I'm wondering if we're going to see it in these cards. Um, let's see what's going on here. I think we are really hitting it off. Okay, so they're thinking about your body. They think that you guys are really hitting it off. And then here we go. This is what I was looking for. We both need to align ourselves with our true paths in order to make this connection work. 
they are definitely feeling held to a certain standard here to date you. They're feeling like, I want to make this official. Thanks for helping me awaken. Like, I feel a soul connection here. I think we're hitting it off. Like, I'm feeling like, uh, you know, these romantic feelings towards you. But they're thinking, wow, like, I'm really going to have to align myself here if I want to step forward into this connection. Like, you know, they're thinking that you're going to hold them accountable to be the greatest version of themselves, which I think is what any couple should do in a relationship you know being with someone should help you become the greatest version of yourself you know if it's anything else then it's a distraction and so they're realizing like i'm gonna have to come at this connection in a different way like i'm gonna have to step it up basically and then over here i'm sensitive to the intense emotional energy around the situation i need time to be alone and process Woo! i mean look at this this energy and that that's kind of where the guilt comes from too um, you know, they're feeling like really shook, you know, not everybody really believes in soulmates, twin flames, soul family, that kind of stuff. So this person might, I sense they're like a little bit more logical, a little bit more grounded. Like they have their own personal beliefs and the own way that they see the world, which is beautiful because the way that everyone, each person sees the world is very unique, very different. And they're processing things right now. And it was a little overwhelming for them to come into this connection and to, feel like these emotions they've never felt before. So they're realizing right away, I'm going to have to step it up. Um, I didn't understand what a soul connection was until you, you've helped me connect more with my higher self. You helped me awaken. And this is some intense energy, intense emotional energy. I need to process this. Um, we need, I need to align myself, but um, ultimately these cards are really sticking out to me. They want to make you guys official. They're open to that commitment with you. They think that you guys are hitting it off. They're feeling these romantic feelings towards you. And so my message to you would we give, give this some time. Give this some time with this person. Um, don't come at them too hard. Intense, they're sensitive to intense emotional energy. It doesn't mean they don't want to go there with you. They might just have boundaries with how soon in the connection they're willing to open up that side of themselves. So yeah, I mean, this person's definitely very into you this connection feels very special so wow i hope that this reading resonates with you thank you again for coming to my channel and i will see you next time peace out for those of you guys who choose number two let's go ahead and get your message what does this person want to say to you what's on their mind when it comes to you uh, their thoughts feelings towards you let's check in on that so we got one card that came out alone. The rest of these came out together and reversed. And when I made this deck, I wasn't intending on there being any reversals that would be read. So I kind of see that as a message of like increased energy, intensity around these cards. So let's start with this message over here that came out just kind of, and then this is like intense over here. So here we go. My situation is different now. Maybe we can try again. So that's interesting. Um, this card makes me feel that um, you guys tried it in the past. You guys had a connection. Maybe this is somebody you dated before or someone that you were flirting with and then things kind of fizzled out or you guys had to walk away. Maybe there was like some type of third party situation going on. And but this person is definitely been thinking about you lately. They're thinking, you know what? My situation's different. Maybe they broke it off with that person they were with or maybe they're um they've uh achieved some type of status in life or some type of stability or they're in a place where they can focus on romantic relationships um it seems like in the past there were a lot of distractions there were a lot of blocks to you guys moving forward so let's look at this okay this energy over here came out like really intense i'm done thinking i'm ready to do something about it Wow. Yeah, that's a powerful energy. I need to see the cards um, around it. I mean, first of all, I'm tapping into this energy and seeing these cards is making me think this person is like really wants to step forward and offer something. My situation's different now. Let's try again. I'm done thinking. I'm ready to do something about this. And then here we go. We've got a very romantic um, message. I've been thinking about all the things I want to do to you. Card number 69. <laughs> I've been thinking about all the things I want to do to you. 
yeah, this person's coming forward with like a very powerful, assertive energy. Like they are thirsty for you is what I'm sensing. <laughs> and then here we go. I'm not sure if my feelings for you are strong enough and I don't want to hurt you. Hmm. This could just be someone that, um, let's see. Ooh, I'm afraid I'll lose you as a friend. And it's the only reason I haven't had the courage to ask for more. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. They're kind of scared. Um, they're very turned on by you and they're very thirsty for you. And they really want that connection. But part of them is afraid that like, once you guys have that connection, it might just fizzle out. Or maybe it's just a sexual attraction. Um, they, they're open to exploring it. They want to do something about this. They are really, really thirsty for you. But then as far as a relationship, um, they're, they're kind of nervous about it. They know that this is what they want over here. And I've seen that before in the cards, you know, it's possible. Some people just are like, you know what, let's have fun or let's have a sexual connection, but they're not like really thinking about long term. And it's not always personal, like to you, if someone feels like that towards you, sometimes that's just where they're at, or that's the only kind of connection they're looking for. This person strikes me as someone who's just very on the fly, very in the moment, very impulsive, not really thinking about the future. Um, and they're not thinking like, I have a plan here. And, and some people have that when they date others, like specifically earth signs, Tauruses, um, Capricorns, a lot of times they have like a plan. Like I want to date this person. I want to get to know them. I want to lock this down. Like I want a relationship. Other people, sometimes it's the Leos. I don't mean to pick on anybody, but you know, the Leos, the Sagittarius's, the Aquarius's are sometimes more just like, let's just see what happens. This is how I'm feeling today. We never know what's going to happen or what's going to change. So, um, yeah, this person's kind of more on the other side, basically where they're, they're really wanting to just kind of have fun, see what happens. Like, let's not like, no, I'm not going to make any promises type of energy. But, you know, one thing's for sure there, things have changed in their life. They do want to step forward. They, but it's more like, let's explore this. Let's maybe explore this sexually. Um, and then they're also like, I don't know if I can make any promises though. I'm also afraid I'm going to lose you as a friend if I step forward. So they are kind of hot and cold. They are kind of in and out. They've been thinking about this for so long. The only thing that's been holding them back really is just this right here. Um, they don't want to ask for more. They don't want to lose you as a friend. And they're also, um, they're still not sure like how their feelings for you. I think sometimes they're, it, they're just, okay, this is just an attraction. I think other times they're, they are feeling more like I really care about them. I like, I really care about you, you know? So this one is just going to have to be a wait and see, but this is kind of what's been on their mind lately. So I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you again for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message. So this is uh, your special person, what's been on their mind, how do they feel about you, like messages from their higher self. Let's see what's going on here. So the first card is, I feel like the luckiest person in the world. Aww. I think that this person is very aware of how you feel about them. <laughs> They're, um, either you have made a, uh, a confession of your feelings or you guys are currently in this connection or it's pretty obvious at this point and so they are feeling very lucky they're feeling very um like blessed to have your attention your focus your affection um i think that's beautiful so the next card here is there's no one else yeah, I mean, if you were worried if this person was seeing somebody else, um, this could be a clarification that they're not, there's no one else, they're not dating anybody else, they're not seeing anyone else. But sometimes I get this message for someone who might be in a relationship, but they're like, you know what, there's no one else but you. I don't, I don't really know about this anymore. So it really is one of those messages where they're, you're number one in their mind. You're number one in their heart, no matter what the situation Next, ooh, this one's intense. My life is full of stress. 
I've been struggling to keep it all together. I don't have the heart or the energy to fall in love right now. My situation just feels hopeless. Yeah, so they're definitely stuck in some type of situation. I mean, it could just be from current world events. Um, it could be their job, something like that. It could be maybe they have children or it's uh, you know family related or something like that. Um, I definitely feel like it has a lot to do with finances, job, that kind of thing is what's really sticking out to me. But this, they might be just trying to tell you, I do care about you. I feel thankful. I feel lucky to have your attention, your affection. But my life is just so full of stress. Like I don't even think I can have the heart or the energy to fall in love right now. Like I literally don't even have the time, the space. Like I'm too stressed, you know, because in order to fall in love, you've, you've got to make space for it. you got to make room you got to be open. You got to have the time. You it, it needs to be a focus, you know. And sometimes when you're too stressed, you just can't even go there. So yeah. Next, we're seeing this card. This is too fast for me. Too soon. Can we just go back to focusing on having fun and let the rest come naturally? Mm. Yeah. This if this is somebody that you have, uh, you know, made an ultimatum with, or you have been dating, or Maybe they're feeling that pressure coming from you of you wanting to lock this down or you wanting to know how they feel or know what this is. And because of the stress, they're not able to make any commitments or any promises yet. They just want to have fun. They want to take this slow. They might not be a pro like um, coming at you consistently right now. But I love how we're getting this card because they're like, no, there's nobody else. Um, I just I need to make some space in my life. This is too fast. I need to slow this down. I feel really lucky though uh, to have your affection. I feel like they're trying to pace this can, this energy with you. The next message here is you were so good to me and I screwed it up. I feel like I've lost you forever. Well, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. If they were coming at you, I feel like the luckiest person in the world, you know, with that type of energy and there's no one else. But then they're all stressed out and kind of running off over here. And then they kind of are like, whoa, this is too fast for me. They're kind of you know, backing up because they're getting like cold feet. And then, of course, you know, they're probably sending you mixed messages. And they I feel like they've had time to reflect and they've realized that like, oh, crap, I I chased them away. I didn't I didn't realize that I pushed this away. And like, look, now this connection's gone and I kind of blew it and. Yeah, so if this is somebody that you haven't been talking to recently, um, this could be messages of like what happened. Maybe you're wondering what happened or like why they haven't been reaching out or why things fizzled out or how do they still have feelings, that kind of thing. And this could just be telling you, look, this person's under a lot of stress and like things were just moving too fast for them. They weren't ready to like, you know, go as deep as you wanted to go at the time. Um, they are remorseful. You were so good to me. I screwed it up. I feel like I've lost you forever. Yeah, this is interesting. So this is just kind of what's going on in this person's mind right now. I'm interested to see if this resonates with you and what you think about my new deck. <laughs> Thank you again for coming to my channel and for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Peace out.